What up, Mr. Moore, Moore Fitness? What's the one thing that you can sacrifice to get this fat loss rolling? More than likely, it's only one thing that's necessary to get that ball rolling. Depending on how far out you are from your goal, could be a couple of things that you're gonna have to sacrifice along the way. But it only really takes one thing to get that ball rolling. So you have to ask yourself and figure out what is that one thing. Um, we have that Sunday night blues or, or pretty much whenever we tried the last diet and we messed up or either we get motivated to see a little, another motivational video. All right, I'm gonna start over Monday. I'm gonna go grocery shopping. Um, Sunday, get all this healthy food and I'm probably not gonna eat meal prep. And by the third day, I'm gonna be tired of all of them and end up throwing it away. Um, and that's just, it's kind of overload. So what can you do to to kind of combat that and prevent you, you from over, overloading yourself and pretty much crashing? You know, it's just like a crash diet. It's, it's only a temporary fix. So pretty much this could be fixed with just picking one thing to focus in on, to have laser focus. Um, trying to change your whole life in a matter of hours um, based on the decision, most people don't make it. Um, sometimes you may have seen one or two people that just say, you know what I'm saying, I got it, I just woke up this morning and I changed my life. But more than likely, that's a result of time after time after time of trying it again. And whether they knew it or not, they learned something from each failure. So that's why I always say don't be scared to fail too. But <clears throat> another healthy way um, to start is picking that one thing, laser, laser focus, um, mastery, Robert Greene. You never achieve um, mastery if you're trying to do everything, if you're trying to change your diet. Some people trying to lose weight, change their diet, meal prep, don't even know how to cook. So now you're trying to get up early, you're trying to work out for three hours a day, you're trying to learn how to cook, you're trying to watch YouTube videos to learn how to cook, you're trying to watch YouTube videos to learn how to learn how to work out. <laughs> um, so it's that, that's a lot. When really you know at least one thing that you probably shouldn't be doing if you want to reach that goal. And so are your actions matching your goal? So you drink a six pack of soda a day. What would happen if you cut back one soda a day? Now that might not give your, you know what I'm saying, immediate results that you want. You know what I'm saying? That's not gonna give you that 21 pounds in 21 days like you see on on the, the juice and the, the detox diets and all this other stuff. But you probably didn't get fat in 21 days, so you probably not gonna lose it in 21 days. Um, that especially uh, with with life and everything else, um, that can easily gradually tack on by just bad habits that you don't even know. And that those extra sodas, that one soda a day over time, over a couple of years, is so it can add up to a lot of pounds. So imagine if you did just one, what one soda could be. I'm um, just guess 150 calories cutting out that a day. Um, say if you were my client, I would suggest to you from anywhere from 250 calories to 500 calories um, per day that I would be cutting you back on to start your diet. Um, so take away two sodas, you've reached that. So that's one thing and it's very doable. Um, if you can't sacrifice two sodas out of six sodas, um, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, we, we gotta, we gotta, I'm gonna send you to rehab, um, pretty much. And I, I used to be a soda fan. I used to be fat. I, I totally understand it. You know what I'm saying? You see the shirt. If you like the shirt, holla at my man, uh, Bricks Fitness. Or what, uh, probably BricksFitness.com. You could pick one of those up. But, I mean, I've been there. I understand the struggle, the mental part of it, um, 
the cravings, um, the trigger foods, um, just emotional, just the, the emotional attachment to foods. Um, I like to eat when I'm happy. I like to eat when I'm sad. Um, but even through all of that, it's still not hard to just cut out one thing for a period of time and see how that how your body changes with that cut out two sodas if you drink a six pack a day just an example cut out two sodas a day that's gonna bring you in that caloric deficit necessary to lose weight without putting yourself in a starvation mode i believe in eating as much as possible while still losing weight and i don't think nobody will have a problem with that so if you're my client that's how we're gonna roll but yeah i, I understand the struggle um Laser focus on that one thing. Um, the name of the book is The One Thing by Gary Keller. Awesome book. Um, I struggle with that. Um, outside of fitness, like I'm um, not in a cocky way, but I'm like good at everything. Of course, that means I'm not the best in everything. I have my few things that I am excellent in, but I'm naturally good at everything. I have that type of mentality where it really don't matter what it is, I can do it. And if I don't know how to do it now, I can do it in 20 minutes. Um, so it's easy for me to try to tackle way too many things at one time and I'm spreading myself too thin. Um, and that happened all along through my journey. Um, I'm struggling with that now. But even like say doing this series right now for me is an, an exercise in my discipline, an exercise in me choosing that one thing to focus in on to reach my goal. I think uh, one of the major points in that book um, was what is the one thing that you could do that would be the most beneficial to moving towards your goal. So if you wake up in the morning, what's the one thing? If you don't do nothing else in the day, what's the one thing that you can do that's going to help you get closer to that goal more than anything else that you could be doing? And that one thing is also probably going to make everything else irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? In the, in, the, in the whole big picture of everything and getting closer to that goal. So I challenge you. What's that one thing that you can choose, that you can do, that you can sacrifice? You Probably something simple. You probably eat something every day. You probably go to Starbucks every day. You probably do something. For me, back in the day, it was the honey buns with the white icing. Man, honey buns with the white icing. I was so fat, I used to turn it upside down because I wanted the icing closer to my tongue. Like that's that's how bad the struggle is, and it still is for me. I get one every now and then, but I understand. I get one. I get it from the gas station, so I only have one. I can't get another one. I don't bring no box home because I'm gonna go crazy. It's gone. One sitting. Um, yeah, sacrifice one thing to reach a goal. More than likely, with the way foods are now, the processed foods, that one thing can put you in that caloric deficit necessary to lose weight without overwhelming yourself and it's realistic and then after you stop losing weight from there you can make adjustments and go from there and there and then it's an easy manageable process you know what i'm saying that allows you to like actually still live a normal life and handle the other struggles outside of fitness and food and and all this other stuff um yeah i think that's enough i ain't trying to rant too much um more fitness, more life, more everything. The fitness, the, the excuse me, the principles of life tie in right with the principle of success. Um, so, uh, what's that one thing? Give up one thing. If you can't give up one thing, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, these videos help you, point you in that right direction. Please comment, let me know, ask any questions, comment, like, share, all that other good stuff. Um, yeah, uh, on to the next one. Peace out.